description below and in the pinned comment so you know how you can go download it from those videos. But today I'm going to be showing you how to use the actual macro itself and set up macros of your own. So the first thing you want to do is you want to head into a game or in the lobby, it doesn't matter, and you want to copy all the settings that are on the Sys Macros Discord. I'll show you that real quick. You want to head over to their Discord server and you want to go to ALS Setup. You want to follow all these settings and make sure you have everything exactly how they have. You want to copy all these settings in your game so that you'll know your macro will always work. And obviously of your setup guy as well, how to install Altar key, how to get the latest version, how to extract files, and also your Roblox settings. You must copy these Roblox settings right here, else it will not work and it will most likely break. There's also some common fixes over here in case you're running some issues. You can try these fixes, all these different settings over here that you have to turn on and or turn off. And obviously as well, I'll be showing you how to do all the webhooks and all that stuff. So let's get straight into the actual guide. So once you're in the game, go ahead and open the main.ahk. I will be using the free version, but everything applies on the paid version as well, all the exact same. Then over here, the processes, this is what is currently happening in the macro. So every time the macro does something, it'll let you know what it's doing over there. So you know what the macro is currently doing and what it's going to do. Over here to settings, you can change the bind as well if you want. You can click on them, enter a bind, and it'll change to that. I'm gonna keep mine as F1 though. I like that. So next up, we have webhooks. Now, if you don't know what webhooks are, I'll actually show you that real quick. Now, these are webhooks right here. They will tell you what's currently happening in your game and all this type of stuff. So if I go up real quick, let's say, oh, this is just me, AFK, Anime Guardians with the same macro, by the way. The duration you'd be macroing, total amount of runs, wins, and losses. I'm sorry, I'll set up these real quick. First up, you want to make your own server, just a random server that you need. Go to the top of here, click on the server name, click on server settings, scroll down to integrations under the apps category, click web webhooks and then create new webhook and it'll create one right just like this i'm actually going to delete this one because i already have my own pretty much over here your webhooks over here you can name it whatever you want let's say for webhook just for example name it literally whatever you want if you want you can give it a profile picture all that good stuff over here you can change the channel that the webhooks get sent to i like to have mine in general that's pretty easy and over here you copy your webhook url go and click this button and you can close all of this and then back over here on the macro you can enter the webhook url that you just copied over here Control v that's webhook url right there and make sure you're enable webhooks obviously if you want webhooks if you don't want webhooks just disable it you don't need any of that then discord id if you want to get pinged put your discord id in here if you don't want to get pinged don't put anything in here so let's move on to the mode the mode is actually what you're going to be doing as you can see they have everything raids legend stage infinite portals dungeon extreme boost survival boss rush custom i'll personally be using custom since it's just easier to show you guys how to make your own macros go and select custom and then over here um are your settings so if you're using seamless retry turn that on if you want to do story mode and auto click next turn that on if you want to use auto ability turn it on if you're using the old unit manager turn this on basically you get the gist of it you get the gist of it so let me fix my settings real quick in game I actually turn my graphics all the way down and now let's head into a game and let's uh show you guys how to set up your own macro go on here to raids real quick let's say i want a macro central city why not act six select this raid and let's start let's go in now with custom if you click over here you'll notice that you don't actually have the correct map image what we want to do you want to load into the game real quick and as you can see you have a keybind here called zoom tech this is the keybind you want to do i'll show you guys how to use it in game real quick now in a second so once we are in game here in the map you want a macro don't move don't do anything just click your zoom tech keybind which mine is f4 click that zoom tech click yes it'll close the tab it'll go full mode and it'll zoom out like that and it will take a screenshot and it will save it to your custom what you want to do is you want to f3 basically just want to close it and open it again and now if you enable all that stuff make sure you click save then once again we're doing custom and now if we look at our coordinates if we set them we will actually have this map image right here what i want to do first i want to place down my idol just to start off some money what i'm going to do is over here in the slot i want to put the slot of these characters over here so slot one slot two slot three slot four slot five slot six i will slot five so i'm gonna put slot five over there i want her to get to upgrade zero so i want her just to be placed that's all nothing more and i want to set her position as you can see the map is right here i want to right click wherever i want to place her i'll place idle right there why not and then next i probably want to place down like an ichigo you know i'll put down slot two let's go and do that real quick i want ichigo just to be placed to so upgrade zero and then i want to set him i'll place him right there that's a good spot so now it's going to place idle and it's going to place ichigo but now i want to go back to idle and i want to keep upgrading her until she's max so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to take this number the hashtag of this number over here where i'm placing my idol i want to take the hashtag over here which is one i want to put it in my next slot just like this one and as you can see it'll copy the slot number it'll copy the position 407 407 274 274 and it'll copy all the stuff you need to copy now get it to the upgrade you want to upgrade it to i want to upgrade her to max so i'm going to select max and now it'll place idle place ichigo back to idle and max upgrade idle if you want to go back to a unit you put in the same coordinates the same x position the same y position and the same slot but that's not a bit of a hassle so you just enter the number over here and it'll copy all the things for you let's say i want to go back to ichigo now to max out 
him. Once again, I could just copy all the coordinates like this, but that's a bit slow, right? So I'm just going to do where my page should go. Plot number two, hashtag number two. I mean, enter it over there. There we go. Everything copied for me. I want to max him out. So I want to set him to max upgrade over there. I want to save. So I make sure everything's saved and good to go. I, uh, am I using seamless? I am using seamless. So I want to turn seamless on. I will do auto ability and I'm not going to use unit manager. So now I can start and I can click F1. That's my starting keybind, just like that. Do all the zooming out stuff, all that stuff. Just like that. Now it's going to place down my idol first. Look at this. Place it down idol. There we go. Now it's going to place down my Ichigo. There we go. Ichigo gets placed. Now Ichigo is killing everything. Now it's going back to my idol. Look here. You'll see now in a second. Going back to my idol. And now it's going to continue max upgrading my idol until my idol is maxed. I'll just speed it up here so you know I'm not doing any cuts or anything. I'm just going to speed it up. As you can see, my eye was just max, and I turned on the auto ability because I have auto ability turned on in the bottom right of the macro. I was going back to Ichigo. There you go, you see it turned on the auto ability for Ichigo as well now. As you can see, auto ability was turned on, and now it's maxing out Ichigo like I told it to do. is about to max out Ichigo. There we go. And the game actually won. Now I was going to click retry. Watch this. It's going to click retry. There we go. I was going to keep doing that over and over. So I'm actually going to just stop that right there real quick. But as you can see, it was starting again. It was going to go for it again. I quick want to explain one more thing to you guys. If you want to do something like just click on the screen, but not place a unit, what you can do is click slot zero. And you can place it wherever you want. That's what I want to do there. Now, what it'll do is it'll left click wherever you put the coordinates. And slot zero just means don't select a unit down here. It means don't attempt to place a unit. Just click at these coordinates I just hit over there. That's basically what slot zero means. Then if you put in an R over there, what it'll do is it will look at R and be like, okay, that R means you want to right click at those coordinates. Let's say I want to right click over there for some reason. Let's say I want to do that. This R will mean, okay, when I get to this step, it's R, which means I want to right click at these coordinates. So I'm going to right click over there, right click over there, wherever I put the coordinates, right? That's what zero and that's what R means. Hopefully you understand that. People normally use the zero if they want to turn on auto upgrade in the unit manager, they will click the unit manager, then they'll click auto upgrade all, they'll close it again, that type of stuff. I normally use R is if you use click to move. Let me show you over here real quick. If you turn on click to move like that, restart real quick. If you click R, you actually move that location. Now you can actually make your macro move you to different spots. But now if you're going to use this click to move and the R obviously, you have to have seamless retry off. Else it will keep doing the movement over and over and you'll eventually end up in some random spot in the map. That's what you use R for. So that's pretty much how you use the macro. Um, If you want some other tips on how to use a macro, if you want, or if you have any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. Or if you want, you can join my Discord server. Feel free to ask questions on there. Me or any of the other people in the Discord server are there and online. We are more than welcome to help you. If you guys want me to make macros for Sis, or if you want me to make macros for Tiny Tars, just let me know down in the comments below. I'll be sure to start making some macros for them and posting the videos here for you guys. And also, in my Discord server down in the description below, we have a server filled with tons of Tiny Task macros for Anime Last Stand. Almost everything in the game, honestly. We have dungeons, we have raids, we have infinites, we have stories we have everything you can think of we even have caverns extreme boosts all for tiny tasks so check down the description below we're in the discord server see you guys in the next one peace <music>